village of Lolabe, near the coastal town of Kribi in Cameroon. Bryce, the village leader, has called a meeting. Today's discussion will affect everyone's future. Lulabi is a small fishing settlement. A few years ago, the governments of Cameroon and China joined forces to build the deep sea port of Kribi. The new port was opened to business on March the 2nd, 2018. Now the second phase of the project is about to begin. But because Lolabe lies within the construction zone, its inhabitants will have to move. Oui, ce n'a pas été facile de recevoir cette nouvelle de déménagement. Et pour cela, certains peuples, certains villageois avaient dit que eux ils ne partaient pas et ils restaient sur place. Mais bon, le, le seul problème reste ce problème dont je vous ai souligné tantôt. The new village also lies near the ocean, and the location is better than the current one. What's more, after the government of Cameroon picked the location, the Chinese company in charge of the second phase of the port leveled the ground there and built a new school. However, the new village does lie some distance from the creepy deep sea port. Il faudrait même dire que eh, l'arrivée de ce grand projet du port a, d'une manière ou d'une autre, ou alors plus ou moins, eh, eh, amélioré le commerce dans le village parce que, avec les travaux du port, il y a beaucoup de populations et puis les femmes y vendent à manger, les personnes y vendent du poisson. To help the villagers benefit from the new port. The Chinese company responsible for building and operating it will construct a modern highway between the port and the village. It has also promised to hire local workers once it begins normal operations. This decision removed any qualms the villagers might have had about the move. This port will change the traditional way of life in the fishing village. The inhabitants here are embracing the changes brought on by modern industry. They know that this kind of change is happening all across the continent. Today, Fedor 快速发展势头锐不可挡
Africa is seen as a continent of hope and potential. It has an important position in the international world order, as a booming economy, and is home to a great variety of cultures. Both China and Africa are home to ancient civilizations. In modern times, they have both been the victims of common injustices. Since the middle of the last century, they have helped each other in the struggle for national independence and formed a strong friendship in the process. This one was opened about, uh, about 40 years, the things inside. You know this one? That machine for, to push the, the tree, this one. The tools Ngoza used to build the railway have been gathering dust in this container for many years. But he can't bear to throw them away. Starting from October 1970, the Chinese government provided 50,000 technical personnel to build a railway between Tanzania and Zambia, two newly independent countries. I stay a long time, from 1987 until now, to make this house, to this house. Me, we stay that that place where the Chinese make make where I will stay. The line has become so important to the region's economy. Known as the Railway of Friendship and the Railway of Freedom, it has become one of the main transport arteries in Southeast Africa and a monument to the friendship and cooperation between China and the two African nations. For over half a century, through thick and thin, China and Africa have remained close friends, reliable partners, and sincere brothers. In order to strengthen the bond between the two sides, in the year 2000, the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, or FOCAC, was established. Consisting of China, 53 African nations that have established diplomatic relations with China, and the Commission of the African Union, the Forum is an important institution for dialogue and practical cooperation. There is nothing China has done that threatens the independence or national interest of Zimbabwe. Sobre todo el, 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 el respeto mutuo, la política de no injerencia en los asuntos internos de, de Guinea Equatorial. And they are doing it under our terms. They don't come and impose their terms. If they did, we'll say, ah, don't behave like others. So we don't do that. We are talking as equals. China values both friendship and justice as well as shared interests and places more importance on the former. Upholding these values, China aims to tie the sustainable development of Africa and other developing nations to China's own development, thus enabling win-win cooperation and common development. In this way, it will create a more balanced, inclusive and sustainable world. Shared aspirations bring people together at the 2015 FOCAC summit in Johannesburg, President Xi Jinping gave Africa a promise on behalf of the people of China. We have a strong 
，推动中非合作全面发展。围绕中非全面战略合作伙伴关系五大支柱，着力实施工业化、农业现代化、基础设施建设、金融、绿色发展。贸易和投资便利化、减贫惠民、公共卫生、人文、和平和安全十大合作计划，不断充实中非全面战略合作伙伴关系的内涵。Over the past three years, China and Africa have joined forces to strengthen the five pillars of political equality and mutual trust, win-win economic cooperation, mutual enriching cultural exchanges, mutual assistance in security and solidarity and coordination in international affairs. Meanwhile, the ten major cooperation plans are also being carried out. Since the summit in Johannesburg, President Xi Jinping and 20 other leaders from the Chinese Communist Party and government have visited Africa, while more than 20 African heads of state have visited China. This high frequency is unprecedented in the history of their relations. As Chinese and African governments, political parties, parliaments, militaries and local institutions become increasingly familiar, the strategic China-Africa partnership has been strengthened and has ushered in a new age of win-win cooperation and common development. Um, the only thing that I would like to say to Chinese people is welcome them. There is the opportunity in Tanzania, there is the... Uh, still that room of us working together. Apprendre à parler le chinois puisque je rêve d'aller dans ce pays. Now must be, I make a good relationship because they are friends. Since independence, this road has never been tied. But now you people have come and then we we'll have it ready. It will be good for the whole community. We learn many things from Chinese, Chinese people, like using time, you know, taking a plan, having a plan. They built us, they provided us with this infrastructure. So you are China because you are good, 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 good. God bless you. Today will be Concilia's first time to independently operate a train on the Mombasa-Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway. My major is electrical engineering. When they had, we have the new locomotives from China, I'm among the few people who are going to drive about it. They felt so good. They could go over our neighborhood telling people, like, I didn't know I was going to train as a driver. <laughs> The railroad between Kenya's capital, Nairobi, and the major port city of Mombasa was opened on May 31st, 2017. Passenger traffic began the next day, and Concilia has been working as a driver since the very beginning. Spanning 480 kilometers, the railroad has reduced what used to be a 10-hour journey to just four. By early August 2018, the railroad had transported about 1.63 million passengers and almost 1.5 million tons of cargo. This is just an industry that is starting. We have a long way to go. And at some point and time, we need to transfer the knowledge we have learned directly from the Chinese to other Kenyans. So I want to learn the knowledge from the Chinese so that in the future I can transfer it to other Kenyans. It took about 46,000 young Kenyans and 2,000 Chinese to build the Mombasa-Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway, eventually adding 1.5 percentage points to the country's economic growth. 
The railroad is the biggest infrastructure project since Kenya's independence and another product of the new era of China-Africa cooperation. Referred to as the Railroad of Dreams by the locals, it is about to expand even further into Eastern and Central Africa. In January 2018, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta inspected the first phase of the Nairobi-Malaba standard gauge railway near the Nairobi National Park. The president visits the construction site regularly. For many Kenyans, this 487 kilometer long railway represents their hopes and dreams. In 2015, the African Union adopted Agenda 2063, which maps out a long-term strategy for the industrialization of Africa and a blueprint for its execution over the mid to short term. The agenda aims to use industrialization to optimize the economic structure of African nations and maintain sustainable economic and social development. During this process, more and more Chinese people have joined cooperation programs. C'est la première fois que je suis là et notre relation avec Chine, avec la Chine, c'est-à-dire que la, la Guinée équatoriale, il y a de, de beaux relations entre, entre Guinée équatoriale et, et la Chine, c'est-à-dire que nous sommes ici comme c'est nous. Maria Bengono is the mayor of Malabo, the capital of Equatorial Guinea. She has come to China to participate in the China-Africa Forum on Local Government Cooperation, an event that might influence the future development of Malabo. The forum gathered 160 officials from 24 countries. Operating within the framework of FOCAC, the theme of this session is poverty alleviation and sustainable development. The forum aims to implement the 10 major cooperation plans at a local level in developing countries. Generalmente, in todo en todo país han desarrollado y particularmente en Malabo, eh, que es la capital de la nación, la mayoría de De, de, los, eh, de las construcciones que están en el país eh, han sido hechas por, por las empresas chinas. A large number of African infrastructure projects, special economic zones and industrial parks have become a reality thanks to FOCAC. The Chinese government has trained 162,000 African technicians and provided 43,000 training opportunities in China. It has also provided over 20,000 scholarships and more than 1,300 academic degrees. These projects are leading Chinese companies to move forward with the skills and standards. They are also leading Africa to the most advanced skills. 管理的经验和专业人才，发展了非洲国家的基础产业，改善了非洲国家的投资环境，嗯，增强了非洲经济的造血能力，嗯，促进了非洲经济可持续发展和民生的改善。And um, I'm a beneficiary of the Chinese assistance because I'm here at the Malawi University of Science and Technology. They are my brother. Every day, every day, I'm together with them here. Chinese for here, they understand to me. China is amazing. The Chinese are loved. Regarding many aspects of life. And what comes into my mind is Kung Fu. Punch. No? It's really interesting. Luigi is a 
nearly eight years old, but he is getting ready to perform a very challenging task. He's about to write an essay about a road. Papa? Oui? On a fini? Ah, je descends. Je veux bien attendre de votre voix ce que vous avez écrit. La construction de la route qui mène chez nous est en mauvais état. Ça nous met en retard. Quand nous allons à l'Alliance, quand les parents vont faire, faire leur livraison, ils sont toujours ils sont en retard. Ah, c'est bien intéressant de ne pas les casser. Hein. Laisse-le tranquille. Il faut encore des œufs. Il faut encore des œufs. Luigi's family owns a large poultry farm. Every day, he has to help his father take care of the hens and transport their eggs to the market. His village, Mahazaza, and two nearby towns produce around 150,000 eggs every day, accounting for 95% of all the eggs sold in the capital, Antananarivo. Les fermiers font leur livraison. Quelques œufs sont parfois cassés car la route est mauvaise. La construction de la route sera bénéfique pour nous. Ça fait seulement 9 km, mais on a besoin de 1 heure à 1 heure 30 pour. Euh euh, traverser 9 km. Vous voyez là actuellement, c'est que on a du mal à cheminer les œufs depuis euh, notre commune pour aller à Tana. Euh, c'est euh, ça, ça a une, un grand impact sur notre économie. Nous souhaitons euh, vraiment une, une construction d'une un, vraie route. It's not just Luigi's family that has been affected by the poor roads. This is a common problem across Madagascar, especially around the capital. Congested roads are negatively affecting people's lives and even the national economy. Since China and Madagascar established diplomatic relations, the local government has worked hard to devise projects that can improve people's lives. Inaugurated in November 2016, the Avato International Airport Europe Boulevard Expressway was built by a Chinese company according to modern international standards. The road quickly became an integral part of local transport. Entre-temps, les relations euh, se sont développées. Euh, depuis, euh, j'allais dire, les dix dernières années, euh, pratiquement, et surtout les quatre dernières années, euh, depuis que je suis à la présidence de, de ce pays. Et je pense que tout cela euh, marque, euh, si vous voulez, euh, cette, euh, cette gamme euh, de secteurs euh, dans lesquels s'étend euh, les coopérations entre la Chine et Madagascar. Donc c'est une coopération qui euh, se, re, se renforce euh, de plus en plus, euh, mais ce qui marque le plus, euh, je crois, aujourd'hui, euh, c'est une, euh, une forte, euh, je veux dire, concentration au niveau des infrastructures, et ça, je, je pense que tu as souligné. Récemment, les Chinois ont commencé à se présenter à Luigi's home as well. They're here to build a 20-kilometer highway. The road is being built especially for the towns of Maiki, Ambano do Kana, and Mahazaza in the capital's suburbs, as well as the roughly 40 poultry farms in the area. That's why the locals call it the Egg Road. Les Chinois, nous, nous ne serons plus en retard. 
nous gagnera beaucoup de temps. The mutual benefit and mutual interest evidenced by China-Africa cooperation have been praised by African governments and people. In October 2016, the well-known research network, Afrobarometer, revealed that two-thirds of the 54,000 people surveyed across 36 African countries had a positive opinion of China and believed that China's political and economic activities on the continent boosted development. The seeds of China-Africa friendship are firmly rooted in the hearts of Africans. As China-Africa cooperation continues to expand, more and more new members are joining the great family. Gambia established diplomatic relations with China in March 2016. Sao Tome and Principe followed later that year, and Burkina Faso in May 2018. It's plain to see that China-Africa cooperation continues to benefit more and more Africans. Half a year after Xi Jinping announced the 10 major cooperation plans in July of 2016, the coordinators meeting on the implementation of the follow-up actions of the Johannesburg summit of the FOCAC was held in Beijing. More than 300 representatives from 52 FOCAC members agreed to adhere to the concepts of common, intensive, green, secure, and open development, and to continue to implement the follow-up actions of the Johannesburg summit in a safe, orderly, and efficient way. Little Luigi is waiting for the egg road to be completed. What he doesn't know is that the governments of both Madagascar and China are working hard to make his dream come true. In Kribi, in Cameroon, the people of Lolabe village see the land the government has allotted to them for the first time. Now they can begin to build their new homes. Nous sommes tous prêts. Nous sommes même contents. Nous voulons partir. Mais bon, le plus important serait que les populations soient d'abord installées. Notre souhait dans l'avenir, c'est que nos enfants puissent travailler soit dans l'exploitation du port soit dans euh, la construction du port. Et c'est un grand projet qui est très important pour le président de la République, pour toute l'Afrique et pour tout le monde entier. Africa is marching towards the beautiful dream of industrialization and modernization outlined in Agenda 2063. Meanwhile, China is working hard towards the goals outlined in the two centenaries and the Chinese dream of the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. When friends join forces, they can achieve great things. The development of China-Africa cooperation is defined by mutual needs and advantages. Through win-win cooperation and by working together, we will create an even tighter Sino-African community of shared destiny. China and Africa will chart out the path ahead together and add new meanings to the new era of China-Africa relations and cooperation. The integration of the Chinese dream and the African dream has begun, and 2018 will become a new beginning for China-Africa cooperation.